Hey, what's going guys? Crypto's Crypto Wars in here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own unturned land server. Now, this tutorial is going to be different from any other unturned tutorials on YouTube because I'm using a different method to install your very own unturned server with Rocket. And bear in mind that this is a unturned LAN server setup, so it does not include port forwarding. I have another video on port forwarding if you want to check it out. And I just want to mention a few things as well. This is going to be different because if you see here, normally you will go into properties, local files, browse local files, and create your server by creating a shortcut and adding the properties of no graphics batch mode and secure server and also installing the rocket modules in here now by doing so when you play unturned you get a battle eye error which will kick you from the game on any server they join and the only way to fix it is to copy the entire unturned game folder to your desktop and run your server off a separate unturned folder however that limits you on updating unturned itself which you will have to copy the files again and if you're running on an ssd or hard drive that could take a long time so we're going to download the windows version on the rocket mod website once it's downloaded open it up and once it's opened you can now close out the browser and we're going to create a new folder on our desktop and we're just going to name this server and open the folder and we're going to create another folder this time it's going to call it unturned and inside unturned we're going to drop our scripts and modules from rocket zip so you can see here create a folder called server unturned then drop our modules and scripts once that's done Go into the scripts folder, you want to edit the update batch file edit with notepad plus plus and we're going to scroll down to line 20 and we're going to change this login info to our own because Unturned requires an actual Steam account with a password so I'm just going to use one for demonstration here you guys can copy this down if you want and we're going to go ahead and save it close it and run the my first rocket server patch file once that's done it will begin installing steam cmd and also installing unturned once it's finished it will now install rocket now that it's finished it will automatically close and to start your unturned server with rocket just run the my first rocket server again and it will start unturned with rocket now that the server started we're going to shut it down and the cmd batch file of my rocket server will automatically open it whenever it's crashed or closed so we're just going to close that so it doesn't start again and we're going to begin configuring our server so go back to the unturned folder and now you can see the unturned game itself with all the files now head on to the servers folder my first rocket server and we're going to configure the commands of that inside the server folder edit with notepad++ and we're going to add a few things so some basic commands for your unturned server settings we're going to type name and for example youtube this will be the name of the server broadcasted on the server list or the unturned server info now we got max plays so how many plays you want if you go over 24 it won't show on the unturned server list and we have pvp or pve so we're going to set it as pvp next we got the map name so we're going to be using an official map and we're going to type washington now next we've got the mode so normal easy hard or gold I'm going to set this as normal and we have the welcome message when people join this is optional 
but we're just going to set this one in for the purpose of this view. So we'll come to test server. And the port, if you're running two servers at once, you obviously want a different port for each server. Now the default port is 27015, so we won't have to leave that in. Now that's finished, let's save the configuration file and close it. And you can start your unturned server again. Now that the server started, we're going to join it. Now there are two ways to join the server. It's one, go into the servers list and click on LAN. And there you will see the server. Or you can click on connect and type in the local host. And the default port is 27015 and click connect. Now as you can see the server is working perfectly fine. Welcome to test server and if you want to make yourself admin, just type admin and the steam name or the name in game in the console. You can see I am admin so I can spawn in stuff. Now if you want your friend to join your unturned server in the same network, what you want to do is go on CMD, type in the IP config and you can see your IPv4 address. This is my IPv4 address, so that's the IP they will type in if they're on the same network and they want to join your server. So they will go into play, connect and type in the IP here on another computer and click connect. Now that's it for this tutorial, I hope you guys enjoy, I have lots of videos on how to set up plugins, install them and also set up permissions, if you want to check them out, go into my channel and you guys can start your other server from there. I also have a port forwarding video if you want to check it out and there's also other port forwarding videos on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy once again and I'll see you guys next time.